Hey guys, I got my uh, impacts in today, so we're going to kind of run them through a test, see how they work. We're going to uh, bust some lug nuts loose on the uh, Sierra, and uh, we'll see we'll see how good they are. These are 18 volt. Um, this is the 3 8 This is the half inch. They both are identical in every way, except this has got the 3 8 anvil. This one's got the half inch anvil. Um, they are uh, what they consider subcompact. They're brushless motors, which is why they can get them down so small. They have basically three speeds and then an auto. They got a, or actually more like power settings, I guess. Uh, power one, two, three, and auto. And the way the auto works is whenever you're either loosening or tightening something up, whenever it, when you're tightening it up, once it hits it a few times, it stops. That way it doesn't over torque it and you can come back and you can actually torque it to whatever you want. Um, when you loosen, once it spins off, I don't know, half inch, three quarters of an inch or whatever, it, it automatically stops. That way it doesn't spin the, the, the nut or bolt all the way out and have the potential to sling it across the garage. Now the specs on these, you've got uh, in, in auto mode, 2800 RPM, uh, low 850, medium 2100, and then high 2800. Um, this is the half inch anvil version. I looked at the manual for the 3 8 These numbers are exactly the same. Uh, impacts per minute is 3,800. And then the fastening torque is 200. And the breakaway torque is 225. That's in foot pounds. So that's foot pounds, um, which should be able to bust lug nuts loose that are generally torqued around 130 to 150 foot pounds. Now this particular kit came with this style charger. Um, it does have indication here, little lights that light up when it's either fully charged. It's got a temp delay. Uh, I guess if the battery's too hot, it's not going to charge. And then if the battery's bad, it's got an error uh, indication. You can hang it up. what these little cutouts are for so you can you can hang it you know like on a on a bench or a wall or whatever and then just slide the battery down into it. in fact this kit which came with the impact driver and the drill has this style charger get that out of your way and I don't know this is quite a bit larger I don't know if one of these are any better than the other. This is a lot more compact, got a smaller footprint. But I don't know if one's pref uh, you know, if, if, if there's a preference to have this one or, or that other one. But either way, they charge the battery. That's the main thing. Both batteries and something else i'm not sure which one of these are the newer style you can see that that now this kit that i bought that had both these impacts came with this battery here this battery i got two of those in this kit i'm not sure which which the newer one is i think this is the newer style this is the older style. I like the older style because it's kind of got a rubbery, which is, that's why this one here that keeps sliding down, that's because this is just hard plastic. This has actually got a rubber base to it. So it, 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 it's got a nice grip uh, on the battery. Um, the batteries are easy to come out. You just push, push these buttons right here and they slide right off. Very small, very compact uh, head. 
And I think I may have mentioned, but yeah, the specs are the same. The, I think the only difference between these is this has got the half inch anvil in it. This one's got the three eighths and that's it. Everything else is identical. So let's get us a socket. And I'm going to have to use an adapter on the three eighths because I don't have a, a seven eighths, uh, three eighths, uh, drive socket oh something else it does look like these batteries have screws so it looks like you can take these batteries apart um, these batteries are loaded with these 18650 cells depending on the voltage they just stack however many of these in there to get whatever uh, amp hour and voltage they need they'll do a series parallel circuit some of these will be in series some of them will be in parallel to give the voltage and the amperage that they want. So a lot of people don't realize that these batteries are just full of these. I've, I've actually rebuilt battery packs before, just ordering just these cells. You can get these cells relatively cheap, and then you can take batteries that are made to be able to be taken apart. And it looks like these are. Now, they do have tamper-resistant torques, so you'd have to get you a tamper-resistant torques kit. But uh, you have the p possibility, if you're handy uh you know with the right tools you can you can put you can change these battery cells out and get your get you a good battery pack again but with that said these come with a if you register if you buy these at home depot or home depot.com and you register these at within 90 days of of uh purchase they have a uh, lifetime service agreement and that covers the batteries and the tool and the chargers so everything will be covered for lifetime to the original owner now getting them warrantied out say five or ten years down the road who knows how that's going to go but as of right now the lifetime you know they, they advertise the lifetime service agreement if you register within 90 days and if they were bought at Home Depot or HomeDepot.com. So don't forget to do that. Who knows? It might not be that much of a ha hassle, uh, you know, to get, get the stuff replaced. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. So let's go ahead and get, get a socket. Uh, I'm going to have to use an adapter on this one. So that might take away some of the energy. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Get set up here. And I'm just going to see if these will, this will knock, you know, knock these lug nuts loose. Um, I guess first, let's, let's do the 3 8 first. Like I said, I'm going to have to use this adapter. 3 8 to a half inch adapter. So we're probably going to lose a little bit of energy out of this. Now the one thing that I've already noticed that you're going to want to be aware of is where the button is right here and where the trigger is. You have a, you have a tendency when you grab a hold of it to push the button whenever it's in reverse uh to push the button back back in back by mistake so be aware of that okay so here we go see i've already done it i've already pushed the button oh let's make sure we're set i'm gonna set it to mode three which is the the uh, high power setting wrong socket All right, here we go. Okay. All right, well, knock those loose, no problem. Um, and just out of here, you know what? I'm gonna get my torque wrench. I'm just gonna see what the torque is on those. And we will see how good this did. Um, let's do the auto mode. Okay, so here's auto. We're going to come off. We're going to loosen them in, in auto. So 
So see how it's still, now you can finish spinning it off if you want. Now let's go on with it. So see it just hit it just a couple times so it's snug, but now you can go and you can torque it. It's not going to be over torqued to start. You're, you're going to be able to torque it to whatever you want. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to get those about where I think they need to be before we torque them. We'll do the half inch. That was the three eighths. Here's the half inch. No adapter needed for it. Uh, and it is variable speed. So, so if you want to just run the bolt or a nut on real easy to make sure that it's not cross-threaded before you just hammer down on it you can do that you can spin it on so let me get a torque wrench and we're going to see just how close we got to uh, the torque okay so i got the torque wrench set to 120 foot pounds which is about where these lug nuts should be torqued so let's see how close we got that one's at least 120 because it didn't move at all. That one moved just a little bit. Now we didn't hit this one, so I don't know where it's at. It's about 120. So, yeah, we got pretty close to 120. Um, so, yeah, if you wanted to put lug nuts on with this little thing, it'll definitely do it without a problem. So... You know, a lot of people have complained that the battery sticks out too far right here, but to be honest, I didn't have a problem with it. In fact, once you get a socket on it, you know, it's gonna push it out this way anyway. So I guess if you had a deep well wheel, you know, that might pose a problem, but use an extension if you have to. But anyway, um, that's just, quick little review of these rigid subcompact impacts they are the hog ring style anvil not the uh, not the detent so anyway there you go if you need some impacts little micro impacts consider the rigid this came in a kit just real quick, I could have bought just the impact with no battery for $139, uh, the, the 3 8 Then I found the kit that had both impacts, the 3 8 and the half inch, one battery, one 2 amp hour battery, and the charger for $239. So for another $100, I got another impact, another battery, and uh, the charger. So what I'm probably going to do is sell that half inch because I, I really wanted the 3 8 uh, impact and uh, recoup a little bit of money and then I'll, you know, come out ahead a little bit. Anyway, you guys take care.